the winner will face blue scooty so let's go ahead and see who that is going to be let's go in three two one tetris chaotic hazel is gifted a tier one sub to the monthly tetris community thank you hazel uh, acidic ascetic is going to get the sub appreciate that hype train is now activated Well, Alex T, you know, as a former C, well, as a CTM Masters event winner, not even a former reigning, right? Wait, did it, wait, I'm, I'm so, wait, Alex won in May, right? Yeah, so Alex won in, I believe, Alex won in May. Also a former CTM, yeah, Mega Masters winner for 2023. The reigning Classic Tetris World Championship World Champion. The owner of the overall score world record in Classic Tetris. So Alex T has the bona fides here is one of the uh, probably really, I don't know how you can argue right now, the best player in NES Tetris right now. And then of course we have Eyeball who is from Canada. Anyway, 159 from Alex D, 142 for Eyeball. No, Eyeball, of course, uh, uh, a mainstay in the Classic Tetris monthly community, making a deep run here. Uh, has made the semifinals, I believe, one time before and is looking for Masters victory number one. Does the five below in the middle of the stack Eyeball, of course, a storied uh, speedrunner converted into Tetris player. Speedrunner of the uh, the uh, classic Super Mario Bros. game, or as we called it, Mario. When we when I was a kid, we called it Mario. Do you want to play some Mario? Let's play some Mario. That was it. That was like the only Mario game anybody cared about. Two fifty eight for Eyeball. Two sixty two for Alex T. Of course, Alex T, uh, the first, uh, or, uh, you know, one of the first of the crop of game crashers. Scooty was the first game crasher. Eyeball setting up a Vitz here. Yeah, let me just fix one thing that's bothering me a tiny, tiny bit. There we go. That'll, that'll work. These two players uh, have met up only one time in Classic Tetris monthly history. That was in December 2022. That was the first time Gerald Freeman won Masters. And Gerald, uh, so Alex beat Eyeball in round one, took out Eric ICX, and lost to Gerald Freeman on Gerald's way to his victory, his first victory in CTM. And that is the only time that they have faced off uh, in CTM. I believe they might have played in CTL, but I barely even know what that is anymore. But Eyeball has, you know, been around uh, CTM for a while, has won a Challenger circuit last year, a Future circuit the year before that. So it seems like he's on track to win a Masters in 2024. That is the trajectory. And actually, yeah, this will be back-to-back -back Final Fours for Eyeball. Eyeball was in the semis in May 2024. We took June off. This is back-to-back -back semis for Eyeball. So his stock rising a bit. Interestingly, it was Blue Scooty who took Eyeball out 
in the semis. So Eyeball looking to face Scooty in the finals. 475 for Eyeball, 452 for Alex T. Wait, is this the same final four? Is that true? Wait, we have the same final four two months in a row? Twitch, uh, wow. All right, I didn't realize that. <laughs> they are, chat is informing me we have the same final four as May. Yeah, it was Alex T, Blue Scooty, Eyeball, and Sidnev, but just their opponents were swapped. So Eyeball was against Blue Scooty, Alex T was against Sidnev. So we could have back-to-back -back finals. Eyeball does not want that to happen because I want to make it to the finals. Uh, Eyeball is into 19. He's at 514. Alex T, 507. Both players kind of up high here in the 19. Eyeball with a lead. What is happening on Alex's board? And Alex is going to top out at 509. And Eyeball is good in game number one. Alex went super high into 19 with Swiss cheesy holes all over the board. Could not bring it down. Hung that Z piece. Tried to get into column 3-4, but couldn't get it over. That caused a spire. And that piece is going to hang up there. And that is it. So eyeball good in game number one. Let's go ahead and count him down. I don't know what Alex he's got to drink there. Is that like Culver's or what is going on over there? And 3-2 on Tetris. They don't have Culver's in California, right? What is that? I don't know what that is, but we'll find out. It was a blue kind of oval logo. Looks like boba tea or something. Does CTM have any official rules against throwing? I mean, we don't want you to do that. And with, you know, several hundred dollars on the line, players generally <laughs> would not want to do that. Looked like a milkshake. Yeah, Culver's is not in California. That's not a it's not a California thing to just load up on malted milkshakes and custard shakes or whatever. 70,000 for Eyeball, 71,000 for Alex T. Eyeball gets a long bar down for a Tetris and another one. Alex will now have two Tetrises set up. Should he by some happenstance get two long bars which he does you have culvers in arizona yeah arizona is kind of like the midwest of the west right kind of same energy Okay, Tetris Eyeball, 189, 165, Alex T. You think Arizona's the South? I don't think I don't think of Arizona as the South. It's the West. The Southwest. Maybe it's the Midwest of the Southwest. Two fifty nine eyeball gets a Tetris down two eighty two two thirty eight Alex T. There's nothing better than you know, like malted custard, like a malted milkshake made with frozen custard. And and while we're at it, by the way, frozen custard way better than regular ice cream. Am I right? Come on. I mean, why? make ice cream without eggs when you can make it with eggs, right? 352 eyeball, 307 Alex T. Oh, the malt is awesome. You, you're nuts. 
You might try malted. You just put malt powder in it. So if you've ever had the candy called Whoppers, it's like the middle of that. It's kind of an old school thing to have. Three ninety nine for eyeball. Three seventy five. Alex T. Eyeball setting up that long bar hole in the middle gets the bar and another bar for the Tetris for twenty two. For eyeball through eighty seven, which is a healthy score. Whoppers like all the candy. I don't know what they're doing, but they're ruining our childhood candies because they seem really bad now. They were way better when I was a kid, and it's the oh. What was also way better when I was a kid was eyeball stacking right here. I'm not exactly sure what was happening, but we're trying to get this fixed. Long bar goes into column three. That's going to bring that down. All right, he's got a, he had a floating Mino for there for a second, which is like my favorite thing. Eyeball gets a long bar for the center to build all this out. Now is a clean stack. Tetris ready. This has allowed Alex, though, to go into the lead. Alex at 512, eyeball at 456. <laughs> Bro, what is Alex saying? Can we get John Boy on the scene? Yeah, we need to get lip reading John Boy breakdown on what Alex is saying. 536 for him, 511 for Eyeball. Now, Eyeball way ahead in lines now, though, was playing much higher. And of course, Alex was start was a little bit delayed relative to Eyeball. So now we have Eyeball ahead by like 13 plus lines. This is a real pace lead for Alex. That's right. That's true. John Boy did do Jonas versus Joseph. True. Eyeball is into 19 at 581. Tetris Eyeball 631. Alex still, oh, double tucks that Z into play, or that S into place. The blue S. Alex Tetris, 681 here on 19, 681 for eyeball on 20. Tetris eyeball 718, 757 for Alex. Eyeball starting to spire a little bit in the middle. Gonna have to bring this down. Set up for a dirty Tetris eyeball. Does not want to go all in on it. Gets the bar in the middle. 751 is set up again. Trying to keep it safe here. Takes a burn. Actually, it's set up for another one. Two dirty Tetris is set up. There's one of them. Let's see if he can clear the other one. Gets the bar to the left. Trying to open this up. It's open again. There's a long bar down for a Tetris. And he's just going to take the triple. He's not messing around with any more dirty center well Tetrises. 836 for Eyeball, 860 for Alex T. But again, Eyeball is up like almost 20 lines. So there's a real, real pace advantage here for Alex T. And this will become a factor as they get closer and closer to level 39. Should they? Tetris for Alex T, 961. Eyeball with two Tetrises in a row, 974. Again, ahead in score, but ahead by 20 lines. There's a Tetris for Alex T. Eyeball preparing for the level 29 transition. Has the max out here into 28. There's a Tetris. Alex 
Tetris. He's got the max out on 26. And eyeballs into 29. Trying to get this something going here. We're going to uncover that little gap in the middle and move the well to the right well where it belongs. Column 10. All right, nice safe play here for Eyeball. Alex, B36 has a 1.1, still on 28. This is a tough situation to be in for Eyeball where you're just so far ahead, you don't know what you need, and you know the player, other player is kind of like tied with you in score, but has way more lines in hand. So you kind of have to be aggressive like in advance. Alex sees left side, kind of a mess here. Doesn't have any burns left. Gets a long bar over for the Tetris. C24, eyeball gets one too. C67, eyeball is set up again. Tetris for eyeball, D10. Fills in that bar dependency. He's set up again for another one. Smooth like butter for eyeball with these Tetris is gonna miss the line spin. I think it's like a one frame thing there. Now eyeball the speed runner used to these one frame uh, maneuvers. E02 for eyeball. Alex at C82. So Alex back by about 70,000 points, but has tons of chase down room. Should it come to that? Eyeball going to hang a piece on that right side. Trying to open up that right. No bar coming, and eyeball can't do anything. So it's going to be a top out at E14. The target for Alex is E15. Two Tetrises would do it. I mean, less than two Tetrises, really. Oh, no, that left side. Alex is going to get a Tetris, but everything's blocked off. We'll see what he can do here. Okay, he's going to uncover that right. Trying to bring it down. Needs 8,000 more points. He's just going to burn them out one by one. And just needs one more line, and there is the line, and Alex is good in game number two. So hangs on just long enough to get those singles and Alex will tie it up. So yeah, eyeball kind of like tied or ahead, you know, quote ahead in score the entire way. But you know, as that pressure gets closer for eyeball, he's, he's the one closer to 39. So he's feeling it first. And he knows that Alex has room, or like runway, to chase down anything. So really, the pressure was on Eyeball to keep adding points and to be aggressive, not even knowing if he would need to be aggressive. That's kind of the, that's kind of the trick. What was once a best of five, now a best of three. Let's go three, two, one, Tetris. And players much more synchronized in their starts now. We are, we're looking for parents. I'm serious about this. We are looking for parents to be moderators in the Twitch chat. So if you're, or you're even, we'll take uncles and aunts and grandparents. But if you've got a young one taking part in Classic Tetris monthly as a player, and you're watching this right now, make a Twitch account and I will mod you. But for real though, don't, don't like, you know, don't be like, oh, I'm really, you know, Titrus's uncle. Like, you know, if you're not like, don't, don't mess with me. Um, cause I'm serious. Not an uncle. You have to have not just every uncle. They have to be, have played in a CTM event. Not just like ever, like if, oh, I'm 22 and I'm an uncle. That's not enough. All right. Well, I now see now I can't believe anybody. Like I'm serious about this and now you guys are ruining it, so it's over. Not it's over for this moment. Don't ruin it. Eyeball not able to double tuck the L to the left. 
What if you are a son or daughter of a CTM player? That's interesting. I haven't thought of that. That's not part of it yet. <laughs> Don't mod random people's parents. Why is it a privacy risk? No, I can't. You don't have to. I'll only do it if your son or daughter or whatever is okay with it. You need you need the approval of your of your Tetris playing youngster. Spida says, can I be mod for 20 gifted? No. No, we don't we don't sell mod shifts for gift subs. I appreciate your wanting to do gift subs, but we don't do that. 261 for eyeball, 297 for Alex T. Three sixty six for Alex T, three oh six for Eyeball. Shane says, Vandy, what pizza place should I order from? Every every town's got a good local pizza place, so go there. By the way, what is your favorite chain pizza place? Like Places like Domino's and Papa John's and um, CC's Pizza and Pizza Hut and all that. What is your favorite place? Curious. L oh, Little Caesars is in there. 442 Alex T, 402 for Eyeball. Venetia's. I've never heard of that. <laughs> Sanzel says, we are in New York, so there's no chain pizza place. But that's not true. Because I was in... Um, I Very briefly, I lived in... In... Uh, what, what the heck? Fleetwood. What the heck's the name of that? Oh, my God. I even forget <laughs> the name of it. Fleetwood, anyway. It's uh, just north of Yonkers. And they did have chain pizza places there. Costco pizza, that counts. 504 transition for eyeball. There is a Tetris, 528. Mount Vernon, that's where I was, Mount Vernon. 566, Alex T, 529 eyeball. But we had our own zip code, so, you know, we didn't want to be part of Mount Vernon. We wanted to be part of Fleetwood because it sounded more hipstery. Eyeball 607 here on 21, 592 for Alex T. I guess like California pizza ch kitchen counts. Papa Gino's if you're in the Northeast counts. Tetris for eyeball. Something about Papa Gino's like that. that it's not good objectively, but it's nostalgic. For New England boy like myself. Oh, eyeball with the adjustment for the square to make room for the J. Oh, my word. I can't believe he even attempted to do that. And a couple Tetrises here for eyeball. 725, 689 for Alex T.
Tetris eyeball 785 727 Alex he and another one for eyeball now up over 90,000 points again a little bit ahead in lines playing a little bit higher on the board I think starting to spire a little bit so this is a problem for eyeball I don't know what he can get over I don't know what he can get over and the answer is nothing and eyeball is gonna die by the spire on that one the chase down is 817 for Alex There's 11,000 more points for Alex. There is a double 8,000, uh, just about 8,000 more. And a little walk in the park here for Alex, memeing a little bit. There is one, I think one more. Well, no, just needs one more actually, there it is. Okay, Alex is good in game number three. And I win for Alex before it's a rematch. Of last month's finals. Let's go 3 2 1 Tetris. Yeah, vegetable is a culinary term, not a botanical one. True. But they are a fruit and they do have sugar in them and they are sweet. Anyway, you, you, if you, you can really do put anything on pizza and like if you do it correctly it's probably good you can't just do it mindlessly and just throw a big chunk of something on there and you know oh well i don't like it because somebody did it wrong like you can do it pizza plus sardines yeah sure of course Eyeball with the five below in the middle of the stack. I still haven't gotten word whether it's a five below if it's in the middle. I heard somebody corrected me or said, well, I don't think it's a five below if it's in the middle. It has to be on the left side. I'm like, I don't know. Looks like the same formation in the middle. I don't see it being all the way on the left adds to it. But then again, you know, I'm not, I'm not great. <laughs> One eighty three for, for here for Alex D. One twenty six for Eyeball. Winter says, "Vandy, if I ever make it out to a regional, would you make me a good pizza that has pineapple on it?" I don't know. I can't commit to making someone a pizza. Eyeball kind of misflips that L piece to the left, and this could get problematic real quick. Getting pieces left and right, which is what you got to do in this situation, is just kind of bowl out the sides. All right, eyeballs bringing it down. Oh, oh, great pieces here. All right, eyeball looks like he's gonna. He looks like he's gonna survive. But what's your pizza flavor of choice? Um, at uh, at Home Slice here in Austin, they do a they have a sausage, red pepper, and ricotta. It's really good. It's like probably my favorite. Yeah, I think that's my favorite. Two twelve eyeball three twenty five Alex T. Mushrooms on pizza? Yeah, sure. Great. Two eighty for eyeball, three seventy for Alex. There's a Tetris eyeball, three twenty six. 
What's my least favorite pizza topping? It's going to be kind of controversial. I think pepperoni is overrated. I don't know if it's my least favorite, but it's highly overrated. Because it just ends up causing like a grease puddle everywhere. I mean, it's good. I'll have it. I like it and I'll eat it and it's no problem, but it is a little overrated. And the grease puddle, honestly, the pepperoni grease gives me like acid reflux or something. Like it's too acidic. Now it's not always like that. It's not always prepared that way. Sometimes it can be good and they figure out what's how to manage the grease, but most of the time places don't do that correctly. 442 for eyeball, 454 for Alex T. Crucial game for eyeball. And we're talking about pizza. <laughs> Do I like olives? Yeah, olives are good. Sometimes I, I, my tolerance for them can run out quickly, though. I mean, they're very, it's very distinctive, right? So, you know, I can have a few olives and I like them, but. Now, my mom used to love olives, like she, like the green olives with the with a little pepper there in the pit. She's, that was like her jam. She's like down a whole jar of those in a sitting. And that was not for me. Like I could have a couple, but 545 eyeball, 569 after a Tetris. There is a Tetris Relic T552, four lines still to go. Black olives on pizza can be good, you know, again, but it can be overdone. 646 for eyeball. I can't believe you guys still want to talk about pizza here. I mean, we're in the semifinals. I'm going to get roasted on the tube. Tetris Relics T659 700. You know, I guess I do have agency, so I can decide not to talk about what you guys are talking about, but. I don't know. I like hanging out with you all. All right, Alex. Uh, eyeball getting up a little bit high there. Gets a bar down for a Tetris. He's going to uncover here. And he is set up and relatively clean again. Long bar over Tetris. Fills out the left side. 762 eyeball. Pickles on pizza. Yeah, can be done pretty well. Skimming a Tetris for Alex T753. He's working one row off the bottom. Trying to avoid putting weight on column eight and nine. And there we go. Good uh good transfer for Alex. Good patience. Eyeball set up for a dirty there. He loves it. 863 for him. Needs to win this one to stay in the tournament. Otherwise, we're gonna have a rematch of last month's finals or the month whatever may june we took a break oh now they're now they're talking about burger places so i can opt out here and get back to tetris because because well i haven't thought about it Tetris eyeball. He's got the max out here on 27. There's another Tetris in. Alex still two Tetrises away from the max. Still trying to get clean. Eyeball into 29, having to take a burn here. 
Waiting on a bar gets it. B17 for Eyeball on 29. Alex has the max out on 28. Seven lines to go. All right, Eyeball trying to work this down. TP's going to look great. He's keeping it low, working it down. Set up for a Tetris and gets it. B74. Alex is in. B16. Just about into level 30 now. Eyeball set up for a Tetris. Seems kind of dangerous. We'll see what he can do. Needs to take a skim. Gets the thing over. Gets a Tetris over. Eyeball. C27. There's a nice triple as well. C39. You know, triples somewhat welcome here on 29. Plus. Eyeball setting up on the left. Well, this is tough. And he's actually set up for a dirty. He has to bring it. He's going to bring it all the way down. C63 for Eyeball. Alex is set up for one as well. C25. Eyeball is going to top out at C65. And that Tetris is going to do it for Alex T. And he will move on to the finals. What a performance here from Eyeball getting into the semifinals, just like last month. So a great back-to-back -back performance, showing a lot of good momentum. And... Uh, and the trajectory, the stock is the stock is on the rise. Eyeball is back-to-back -back semis, is a pretty darn good accomplishment here in 2024, especially when you're in a field with Sidnev, Alex, Blue Scooty, uh, and uh, very, very, very good game for both of our players. GG's to you, Eyeball. Hey everybody, this is your old pal Van Dweller, host of Classic Tetris Monthly, and I'm asking you to do me a favor. If you like this video. Hit thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe and bang that notification bell. Join our Discord server, the largest classic Tetris community online at ctm.gg slash discord. And follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. Thank you and have a nice day.